Okay, now that we got our, our uh, stop attached to the rear of the gun, um, you can see it'll slide up against the fence like that. So we have to limit the um, the fore and aft motion of, of the gun blank. Okay, so um, here's my mark for the right side of the router bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is get that lined up with this mark, get these two lines lined up um, fairly closely. Okay, so again you can kind of eyeball this. If you're off just a little bit it won't matter too much. Okay, so just like we did the trigger pocket, I'm going to slide this um, stop over until it hits the the, the stop that's um, attached to the gun butt and then lock this down. Okay. And then likewise um, we're gonna do the aft end. Now we're gonna you can go off the mark that's on the um, on the gun for the forward end of the, of the um, line release slot, or you can take a measurement off of the um, the um, the side of the the trigger mechanism. Um, I'm just gonna use the the mark that I used that I'm um, that I put on the side of the gun. Okay, so I know um, that this is the right side of the of the um, of the router bit, so I'm gonna kind of eyeball the left side of it an eighth inch over and so that's where my my bit would lie and I'll, I'm gonna slide that over and try and get that lined up with the with the line that's on on the gun okay pretty close. Okay, now I'm going to bring my other stop, hold my gun down, and then lock it down. Okay, so as you can see, this can go back and forth. Um, only the distance of the, the length of the slot. Okay, okay, so um, we're almost there. We're going to put in a, a block to keep the gun from uh, from coming off of the fence, okay? Um, again, it's very similar to how we did our trigger pocket. Grab a piece of wood and you want it to be eh, you want it to sit high enough so it guides the the gun block down uh, nice and straight, okay? So let me clamp that down. Okay, make sure it's uh, nice and snug up against the guns, but you, you want it to still move, okay? Okay, I'm going to tighten that down. Um, okay, so what you want to do is basically prop this up. You get a, a block of wood and prop up your your gun block so that it's held up off the table. Okay, and the the procedure we're going to use is basically uh, to turn the, the lift um, your router bit so that uh, uh, you incrementally raise it an eighth of an inch at a time. Okay, and then uh, peek through here. Keep doing that and until it it breaks through. Um, the the wall um, of the gun here. Okay, so the sequence is basically uh, turn on your router um, and then take your block away, uh, plunge it down, back and forth, back and forth, lift it up, okay, prop it up, turn off your router, and then raise your bit again, an eighth of an inch. Also, I want to make sure that uh, you realize this. Um, you, you have to be careful when you um, you you're using such a a, a small diameter bit. Um, 
you know, an eighth inch bit is pretty pretty skinny, so it's um, very prone to breakage. So you don't want to go too deep on your depth of cut. So that's why I'm going an eighth of an inch at a time. Okay, so I've broken through and I'm going to check to see if I did this okay. Okay. Oh. It's trapped in there, so you want to bring your router bit down. Kind of see that. So, about a sixteenth of an inch away from our target, but uh, like I said, this is a fairly uh, loose operation, so you can get by with a little bit of uh, uh, inaccuracy here and it'll still work. Okay, so let's just kind of do a mock up here. Okay, you can see, you can see in there. Looks like it fits pretty good. Okay, so um, the last thing to try is is basically mount the trigger in there and make sure it uh, it engages the uh, the sear uh, correctly. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. drive this in it'll self tap as I was saying okay basically wanna you probably want a screwdriver to do this okay let's take some Takes a little bit of guesswork here. Okay, got it. See that? Now this is a. Uh, not protruding very much from from the side of the gun, but I'm going to end up shaving off um, uh, a lot of material off the side of the gun. So this will, in the end, this will protrude um, quite nicely. So we can um, easily wrap our line around it. So um, let's take a piece of line and do a check. 
Okay, so here I have a um, piece of cord here, and uh, I'm basically going to do a functional test. I'm going to loop it around the line release. The trigger is already locked back, so um, all I have to do is basically I'm going to just try and pull on this forward and then pull the trigger back and make sure it uh, releases okay. Okay, so here we go. There you go. Works pretty well. Nice and easy movement. I think we're good to go. What do you think? Not bad, yeah? Alright, you guys, take care. Bye.